Well, thank you for staying with us here on Open. Peer Assisted Recovery Center, also known as PARC, provides individuals to, I should say individuals, the tools that they need, as well as the resources they need to lead productive and sober lives. Now, the program is opening a new addiction recovery center right in the Mott Haven area. Joining us now to tell us a little bit more is Jessica Feliciano, program director at Park Bronx Samaritan Daytop Village, and Roy Kears, who is the vice president of recovery services and community partnerships at Samaritan Daytop Village. And we welcome you both. And thank you for coming and sharing with us. Thank you for having us. Good. Let me uh, begin just talking a little bit about where we are in regards to numbers, right? Because uh, statistics continue to rise. Uh, we hear more and more here in New York, across the state, across the country, about op opioid use and uh, overdoses. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I know that the work that you guys do uh, continues to be uh, overburdened and flooded these days. That's absolutely correct, Darren. Uh, we're in the midst of one of the worst opioid epidemics in history. Uh, New York State has been hard hit, and particularly the Bronx. Uh, about uh, almost a third of the overdose deaths in the city of New York happened here in the Bronx. A third? A third. Wow. And, and so it's important that we do things in the Bronx uh, in greater level than we do anywhere else because we want to help the citizens of the Bronx to have an opportunity to get not only get treatment for their addiction, but to get into recovery and be able to sustain that recovery in the community. And that's the purpose of the Peer Alliance Recovery Center, to provide an opportunity for people to come and find activities to do to support their recovery. Because one of the huge problems with addiction that many people do not know is that a lot of people who recover from addiction, they relapse back mm -hmm. into addiction. And we need services to help people maintain their recovery in the community have activities to do, places to go, support, so that people don't get depressed and feel that they have to return to using drugs. Right, that relapse is always critical, especially when you don't find services available or you know somebody that you can basically lean on. I know, Jessica, that's the work that you guys do. You have some programs available, really targeting to uh, help to make sure that that doesn't happen. So a little bit about the services you provide. So first, I wanted to touch on the statistics yeah. that Roy said. Of those numbers, the majority are Latino, Hispanic people in the Bronx, Bronx residents. And for me personally, that resonates because as a Latina woman in long-term recovery, we know the barriers that can be presented when you're seeking or trying to maintain recovery. So at the recovery center, we provide recovery supportive services. Mm -hmm. In particular is recovery coaching. We have individuals with shared lived experience that provide coaching guidance, support to other people in them achieving their goals. We provide some workshops, group sessions. We do a lot of trainings, training other individuals on how to become recovery coaches and pay it forward. So for people who want to get the opportunity to really take part in these services, what's the eligibility requirement? Somebody saying that? Free. Family okay. Completely free. Okay. And, and, and that's been one of the challenges to providing recovery services since it's not an immediate medical thing, you're not going into treatment, you're not going in to see a doctor. It's really a peer, at, and that's why we named this into the Peer Alliance Recovery Center. It's peer-to-peer -peer work, uh, recovery coaches supporting other people in recovery, helping them to not only maintain their recovery, but to find reasons and inspirations to continue along the path of recovery. You know, we like to say at the Recovery Center, it's kind of akin to driving a car. You ever notice when you're driving a car, the rear view uh, window is smaller than the front window. And that's because we believe what's in front of us is bigger than what's behind us. And so we're, we're, we're telling the folks who come into our center, be encouraged, know that you have a future ahead of you, a future in recovery, and you can sustain your recovery in the community with the help of Samaritan Daytop Village and do the things you need to do. What are the challenges those that are using actually face that maybe we're not so understanding of to cause them to either relapse or stay in the state they're in? Homelessness. Big problem uh, here, our borough. Unemployment. Uh, uh, fa family disintegration, you know. Uh, uh, a person may get arrested and go into the criminal justice system. Family is not able to be taken care of. All of these things contribute to drug use and increasing drug use. And one of the things we're doing at Samaritan Daytop Village 
is not just providing recovery services, but a host of other services to support people in the community. Mm -hmm. So for people who want to know about the New Addiction Recovery Center, um, let them know what it is that they should know about your services and how they can come to you. They should know our services are completely free. We're located at 368, 148th Street in the Mott Haven section here. And we're, er, all a person has to do is walk in off the street, walk up to the second floor of the building, and just register to receive services. Mm -hmm. And they we have, have to be 18 and over. 18 and over. Right. Are we seeing people lean to a particular service more than others? A lot of our trainees. Mm -hmm. right. Our trainees, we have a peer workforce track. So we provide the recovery coach training, the peer ethics training, and then we give them internship hours and employ them, help them get employed. Oh, that's awesome. So we want to thank you guys for coming and sharing. We give people more information about how to get in touch with you. We you guys are doing it. great work. And uh, certainly as the numbers continue to rise, it's glad to know that you're on the scene to be able to help out. Thank We're you both. Thanks We're for here to help. Us. All righty, good. Thank you. Now listen, if you want more information on Park Bronx Samaritan Daytop Village, please visit their website on SamaritanVillage.org or you can email them at parkbronx at SamaritanVillage.org. Stay tuned because we got more open coming up right after this.